Yo, what's up fam? It's your boy G Money and I'm back at it again with another video on the G35. So, like I always say at the beginning of my videos, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe right down below this video. Put that thumbs up if you liked it. And like always, if you don't like the video, then feel free to put that thumbs down. But, hopefully you do subscribe. And by uh, subscribing to the channel, you might want to just click on that notification bell. That way you can get a notification to want to upload a video on the channel. Whether it be on the G35 or any other video I, you know, upload on the, on, the, on the channel. So, you know, just subscribe and click that bell. But anyways, it's been a minute since I did a video. Sorry about that. I've been, you know, busy at work. But now I have time to do another video. So on this video, if you have a 03 to 05 G35 coupe, then this video might pertain to you. Um, but all my G35 owners uh, and subscribers, um, I know I've been talking about uh, getting some headlights. I did another video, a past video, where I tried to, you know, restore some headlights with toothpaste. You know, just as, you know, just to see what would happen. And, you know, nothing really happened. But... Uh, on that video, I mentioned I was getting some headlights. So, on this video, I'm going to install my new headlights that I've been waiting for and I wanted to show y'all. And uh, we're going to see what it looks like. Compare the old ones to the new ones. So, let's get this video started. Alright, everybody. So, these are the headlights I got. Uh, I opened them. I couldn't wait. You know, I had to open it. I wanted just to see what they look like. But, I haven't installed them yet. But, yeah, I got the Spec D tuning. Uh... You could see, uh, they have them on eBay for three seventy five. So I'm gonna do a review on these, and I'm gonna let y'all know whether it's you know worth wasting that money because it is a lot of money for you know a headlight. But uh, you know the reason why I got these, um, I wanted them to match with my setup, and I haven't really seen any videos on them. There's another YouTuber, uh, his name's uh, Frankie. Uh, he has the same ones that uh, that I got. But the only difference is his were chrome and uh, minor have a black trimming. So um, same, you know, same uh, headlight, just different, uh, different style. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited because I haven't really seen any videos on these. So I want to see uh, what it looks like on the car. And then that way, you know, if you have a G35 and you're thinking about getting some, some of these headlights, then uh, you'll be able to see what it looks like and, you know, we'll go from there. But anyways, let's uh, open these up and, you know, see what they look like. Alright, so, these are the ones that I got. I don't know if y'all can see them. Yeah, so, these are the old ones I had. The sun's pretty bright up there. But yeah, these are the old ones that, the OEM headlights that come with the G35. Um, I like these just because... Um, the setup that I had, it had the, you know, the turn signal that was orange. Then for the parking lot light right here, I had that orange. And then my side marker was orange. So, um, all in all, it, it matched with the whole setup I had. But as you can see, they're already all cracked in yellow. And, um, you know, I wanted something different and, you know, something that nobody really had. So, that's why I got these right here. Yeah. Okay. These right here. So the reason why I like these is, like I said, I, it has the black uh, trimming and all that. Because uh, um, I guess after the end of the video, you'll see what I'm talking about. How it fits with, you know, what my car goes. What, like the style, the, the way I have my car. Because I have the black grill and the diffuser and the lip and all that. And, uh, you know, I just thought this would go with it. But the, only, the other thing I liked about it is it has this LED uh, running light. And it ha also has like an interchanging, so when you, you know, when you're putting your blinker on, uh, this would, you know, turn orange. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to see how that looks on my car. But it also has uh, projector lights. So I'm really excited about putting these on because, um, you know, I've been wanting to get these. Um, it was just, it was just really pricey and, um, you know, I just saved up some money and I was able to get them. So... Um, I also got the headlights and I also got some new, uh, uh, high beam, uh, fog light because the ones I had, they, uh, they went out and I, you know, I got some new, uh, some new bulbs. So, uh, 
yeah, I mean, it, it just comes with this. It doesn't provide the bulbs and all that. So you're going to have to, you know, either get the ones that you have on your car or you're going to have to buy some new ones. But, uh, yeah, let me show you what the headlight looks like on my car. And then, you know, I'll install the new one. All right. So right now it looks like a haunted house because, like I said, my uh, fog light was going out. So I got I got some you know these right here to replace it with that. But you can see I have the orange uh, the the orange turn signal with the orange uh, parking lot, and then right here I had the side marker. So I mean that's how it really it looked. But you know I'm anxious to see what it looks like with that. So as you can see, I already removed the bumper because uh, that takes a while to remove. But uh, once you remove that, you're able to. Uh, you know take off the headlight so for the headlight uh you have this bolt right or this uh bolt right here you got a, a bolt right here you got a bolt right here and i believe you got a bolt right here so when you do that it loosens it up the hard part is trying to get off these you know these connections these harness you got to use like a flathead to uh you know loosen it up and you know release it but i was able to get that so now I'm really excited because I'm going to, you know, install it and we're going to see how it comes out. And, uh, yeah, I'll give you my, you know, my opinion on them and uh, we'll go from there. All right. So as you can see, this is the old style. I'm not, I just put the other one on, but I wanted to show you the comparison. So this is the old OEM style. And this is the new one. Of course, it looks awesome uh i want to finish putting up the whole uh the whole grill and everything but uh yeah this is the the running light right and of course my side marker is going to be orange but uh let me show you what it looks like when you have the hazards on and then you know you'll be able to see but from what i'm looking at it looks it looks nice okay let me uh let me put the hazards on it see what it looks like so when you put the blinker on that's when it has the interchanging when it has the orange so there you go that's the old basic style and that's the new uh new style so i'm gonna uh put the other headlight on put the grill back on the bumper and um you know we're gonna see what it looks like at uh when it's all done um what sucks is i'm gonna have to get a ballast because the ballast i had um for my uh for my uh low beams uh the projector um my ballast is bad when i took it off there was water in it so i'm gonna have to get another ballast so i can't really show you well i think this i think the i think the one over here is good so i'll uh, I'll probably put it on just to show you what it looks like, but I'm not going to have it connected because I don't want them, you know, I don't want one headlight to be working and the other one not. So I'll probably just use my uh, my fog lights and my high beams, which let me show you what that looks like real quick. So these, these are the old style and these are the new style. So it's good just a heads up when removing your uh, your old headlight of course you're gonna remove that one you're gonna remove that one you're gonna remove the one right here and where was that other one at there's a oh yeah right here so you remove that 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 and that right but the hard part is getting off the main harness which is this one right here I thought I'd just show y'all. So this harness right here, that's that's the that, that harness is kind of hard to get to. So you'll have to get it from like under here, cause the uh, the tab is down here. So if you're trying to get it from above, it's really hard to uh, get get access to. So um, yeah, that that right there is probably like the hardest part. Of removing the headlight but I thought I'd just show you cuz yeah I had a I had to struggle a little bit trying to remove it but uh 
yeah, once once that little part's done, then the whole uh, the whole light comes out. So yeah, but uh, let me install the other one and then you know I'll show you the final outcome. Uh, just another thing because you know I want to you know show y'all everything before you know because like I said if you're interested in getting these headlights you know I want to show you you know the best detail I can so right here this is where your um your old ballast will go so this right here you'll take these you'll take these three off and then you just put this back on right here using your old um your old screws or you can use the new ones that it came with but I think those are too um too too short so you'll have to use your old um your old screws to take them off but like I said I think uh my uh my ballasts are bad so I don't even know if I should install it but if I did install it I would just remove this put it take this little piece off put this on right there these three screws will line up right there and then um your whole um the whole uh, harness see that's why I don't like this one because this one is too short the other one I had was a little bit longer so when you know changing out your um your cord and your socket make sure it's a long enough piece because it has to go from it has to go from here all the way to here and I I have a video on how to install that but yeah I'm just gonna have to leave that alone and then um all you do for this this is where your uh, high your high beams and your fog light go you just plug it in right here so let me show you yeah these are the ones I got the brand right here so these three uh, prongs will just line up with these three right here plug it in and then I'll just put it in that slot right there move this little uh, bracket and these these three um, little tabs they'll line up perfectly in there so that way you know where it fits and then you just lock it in place and then you know close it and then uh, for right here this is where your uh, your ballast goes and uh, where it's right here maybe I'll just maybe I'll just put it on and um, and then the last piece is right here and this goes to your main harness and um, it's pretty easy putting it back together. It's just taking it off. It was kind of hard because uh, you got to get it from underneath. But uh, okay, now I'm going to install it and then uh, we'll see what it looks like. All right, everybody. There's the finished product right there. And man, does it look good. I love it. It looks nice. And we got my back. The beauty of the G right there in the back. Like I said, I wasn't able to, I'm going to have to uh, get these uh, ballasts for the projectors, but I do got the, uh, the um, fog lights and the um, high beams working, so, and then this is, like I said, with the hazards. You can see they're in sync, so they go together. And I love it because it matches with my JDM style tail lights. It's kind of hard to tell. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, let me show you what it looks like with the, uh, the fog lights on. Boom.